Okay, let's have a little talk about the Mass Effect CES 2017 trailer that just dropped very recently. It's available over on NVIDIA GeForce's channel as an exclusive, and uh, I got a couple, you know, just general thoughts on the whole trailer. A couple good things, a couple bad things. Let's get into, first of all, the good things that I really liked about it, and... One of the biggest things, and I said this in the video I uploaded yesterday, is that I really get the feeling that you are exploring this new frontier in this world. It almost feels like Star Trek, especially like the first uh, third of this trailer. When you look at it, you really get that feeling that uh, they're kind of like the Enterprise crew. They're exploring these unknown worlds, encountering different aliens. They're probably going to be dealing with all these different types of social, political issues and ideologies in the game, which I really like. I love the feeling of kind of doing this uh, exploration throughout this unknown galaxy full of these new natural wonders and technological species wonders as well. Whereas in the other games, you were in a very established universe already where everyone kind of knew each other. You were dealing with the intermingling of people who were already kind of together for a certain length of time, and that was needed because it really made the universe feel like it had been lived in. However, looking at this new trailer, you're bringing in to a whole different... However, when you look at this new trailer, it kind of brings it into a familiar yet completely new and mysterious area, this new galaxy. So we're going to be seeing new stuff, and that's what we really need in this series. Again, this is what I've been saying the whole time. I really like that, and I'm excited for that. Let's get into the things I'm not super into out of this trailer, and the biggest one for me, being a PC player, you know, this is a PC-focused channel, I hated the UI that was on display in this trailer. It looked like it was absolutely made for a controller, and as we know, with a lot of AAA products, they are definitely optimized for the consoles, and that's where their biggest market is when you combine both the console markets together, of course, with these big AAA titles. And a lot of the time, this goes back for a number of years, when they make the UI for these games, they make it with those controllers in mind. It looks like a hell of a lot more difficult to navigate with a keyboard and mouse. Maybe it'll be different on the PC, but we've seen in the past that they usually don't cater towards that audience. And if I'm using a mouse and keyboard, which I'm more than likely to do with this game, then I feel like I'm going to have a lot of problems trying to navigate everything. And as we know, the Mass Effect series isn't really big for modding or anything, so I'm not really expecting some big UI overhauls or anything like that. So that's my biggest concern coming out of this trailer. Another concern I have, and this is kind of a retreading of another one that I've talked about previously, is the open world nature of it and how it looks a little bit too much like Dragon Age Inquisition. Someone said on my last video that they haven't seen a single analysis of this game without someone mentioning Dragon Age Inquisition, and it's... Honestly, the most prudent analysis to make, though, because that is the most recent game in this style that has been made, and it looks like they're taking a lot of ideas from it. It's definitely taken more ideas from that than it has from the first two Mass Effect games. Of course, there's definitely influences from Mass Effect 3, which itself was already getting into that more open-world kind of areas as you, like, progress through the game, especially during the final act of it. So it does kind of concern me with this new UI that looks like it's definitely made for using your controller 100% of the time, which I could be okay with with Mass Effect, because it is a third-person shooter. Historically, they might be a bit easier to use with a controller with a lot of them versus a keyboard and mouse. They can be a bit clunkier that way. But it still does concern me with that UI, and again, with that open world nature, does it kind of limit the level design philosophy of the developers, and will it make everything feel a bit samey if you're kind of just in different looking locales rather than ones that feel like they were crafted, especially for this portion, this segment of the game. Nonetheless, though, all these criticisms are just that. They're criticisms of a trailer, and I'm you know, very open to playing the game when it comes out and seeing if they do anything to address this. Maybe I'm just being way overly cynical with this, and I'm still interested in the game. I love the universe, and as a gamer myself, you know, the universe and the lore has always kind of trumped gameplay elements to a certain degree. That's just how I play video games. I would much rather play a game with okay gameplay, but a great universe and story that I get invested into than one with uh, just the best gameplay all the time. Not to say that if you prefer just having perfect gameplay, that that's bad. That's how you play games and everything. That's totally fine. I respect that completely. 
but I love story, I love lore, that's just how I've always been. However, that doesn't excuse it at all if it ends up being really crappy gameplay or performance problems or anything like that. They should strive for excellence in every regard, but we'll see what happens when the game comes out. What do you think about this trailer? Let me know in the comments, I really want to hear from you. I am Paddy Jack, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.